If you've watched my videos before, you know that I like Apex Legends. A lot. Like a lot. My videos have me go over the lore of each character in the game, and a lot of these characters have stories that are intertwined with another game developed by Respawn. Released in 2016, Titanfall 2 was the direct sequel to Respawn's first release, Titanfall. Titanfall was a new take on the first-person shooter genre, introducing uniquely fast-paced gameplay with extreme mobility, including wall running and boosters. Of course, they also added robot mech suits, or titans, which the core gameplay was tied around. You go in, get kills, earn your titan, get more kills, repeat the process. It was simple fun and its impact shook the industry, as the following Call of Duty games and even Halo also tried to focus focus on movement and extreme mobility for a while after. The game was a critical success and did well commercially, although it's unclear exactly how many units were sold. Regardless, it was enough to launch a sequel, Titanfall 2. Titanfall 2 did a lot right. The reason people loved Respawn as a developer so much is heavily put on Titanfall 2's shoulders. Titanfall 2 improved the franchise drastically. More guns, more titans, more modes, and best of all, more story. You see, the original Titanfall had a quote-unquote campaign in theory, but it was more of a dragged out tutorial and both critics and fans didn't like that much. Titanfall 2, however, has one of the best campaigns. You're a regular grunt turned pilot in the middle of a war, and the movement in this game makes you feel like a super soldier while still feeling challenging. You should check it out if you haven't. Playing as a pilot makes you uh, feel kind of slow when you go back to Halo and any other shooter. Welcome. So once Titanfall 2 released, after everything I just said, you'd think it would be a huge success and spawn sequel after sequel after sequel, right? Right? Unfortunately, that's why you're here today. You clicked this video because you want to know what went wrong with Titanfall and why it's probably one of the most underrated games of all time. I hope I can live up to the honor. Electronic Arts, better known as EA, is a game company whose bad reputation knows no bounds. The company that repackages FIFA every year and whose parasitic business practices killed Battlefront 2. Do you consider loot boxes to be a, an, an ethical Feature. So what we look at as, as surprise mechanics. A game that literally had no reason to fail, it's freaking Star Wars, and the same company whose greed makes it so everything in Apex Legends is extremely overpriced. Yeah, that company, they're the company who also own Respawn Entertainment, as well as DICE Studios, the company that makes Battlefield. Why does this matter? Well, because Titanfall 2 was set to release October 28th, 2016, and Battlefield 1 was set to release October 21st, 2016. And on top of this, their competitor, Call of Duty, was releasing Infinite Warfare November 4th, 2016. Do you see a problem here? Two huge titles were sandwiching the release of Titanfall 2. Instead of maybe postponing Titanfall 2 to December or even Battlefield, they instead sealed Titanfall 2's fate. People that play shooters were going to buy Battlefield and or Call of Duty and very few made room in their wallets for Titanfall 2. But that's really just a surface level problem that Titanfall 2 had. While yes, we can blame most of this on EA and it's easy to hate on them, plenty of games with bad launches made comebacks. Rainbow Six Siege comes to mind. Why didn't Titanfall 2 do the same? It's not like Respawn did something wrong, these developers truly listened. They updated the game for years for their loyal fans. So why are there only 2,000 players at most playing? I think it comes down to a few more problems with Titanfall. I hope I can live up to the honor. This game has insane movement that many people learned and mastered, making them incredible at the game. You can grapple, fly, and speed around the map with ease. Even a pleb like me can get a cool looking kill. Dang, I just slid killed that guy, that was nuts. It's beautiful. People who play this game enough can also become great at aiming and killing other people, sometimes just running around with the wingman or Kraber for fun, just to flex on people. But the problem is that the game isn't designed around being just a pilot. The game is called Titanfall after all. No matter how awesome you are at zipping and zooming, you are no match for a Titan. On top of this, there were some questionable design choices made. Oh, so you're good at aiming? Well, now so am I with a smart pistol. Oh, 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 stop shooting on me, you can shoot it. Seriously, what the hell is this? Oh, did you use a spot pistol? Really? <laughs> I mean, since I haven't played Titanfall in a while, I can't aim. Just use a smart pistol and kill Moki with it. That's all you gotta do. No, smart uh, pistol too OP. I don't go with it. Oh no, I smoked this. Oh, yo, 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 yo
on the, oh, on the team with the guy that's using here. smart pistol. So is this game catering to pros or casuals? It doesn't know. No matter how good you get at killing other people, if you just kill a couple of bots, it's worth the same amount of points in attrition. Obviously, there are game modes without bots and without titans, or some that are just completely objective based, like capture the flag, but my point is, I'm not exactly sure which game mode is the titanfall experience. The reason games like Overwatch, Rainbow Six Siege, and even Fortnite have maintained longevity is because they have one main game type and focus on balancing that game type out. So attrition is probably its most popular game mode, but how do you balance balance a mode with bots and titans? The answer? You can't. You just can't. Which brings me to my final and most controversial point. I hope I can live up to the honor. Where Titanfall thrives is in its amazing mechanics given to the pilots. The movement, guns, and abilities are ahead of their time. No shooter feels this good. So I would argue that ironically what helped kill Titanfall as a franchise is the titans. Yeah. The Titans are a lot of fun, but that is really it. They're just fun, but not fun to fight against as a pilot. Titan versus Titan is cool, but one Titan will lose that fight and the power imbalance is back. Where I had the most fun with this game was playing games without bots or Titans. Just people versus people in a Call of Duty arena shooter that everyone has dreamt of. It's dynamic, fast paced, fun, and quite challenging. A game like this where you just fought pilot versus pilot would be incredible. I'm aware that there's a pilot versus pilot mode, but you can tell that the game is not balanced balanced around that game mode, and is instead balanced around the Titans. If Respawn were to come out with a game that was essentially just the Titanfall core mechanics without the Titans, I think they would hit a gold mine because all the people that are into arena shooters might just be into this. But that's just it. It's not called Fall, it's Titanfall. It's a game revolving around the Titans and marketed that way. If you like the Titans, then you'll love this game. And if not, it can be a big problem for you. That's partially why I really think Apex Legends was such a success. I mean, one, it was free, which I think Titanfall 2 should probably do by now. But two, it was essentially Titanfall without the Titans in a battle royale. So if you ever thought that Apex Legends felt good to play, you should probably try Titanfall 2. Because boy, you'd be in for a treat. Now look, if you love Titanfall 2 in all its glory, great. It's amazing. I'm just trying to help us understand what went wrong with it. I'm glad I was reintroduced to this game all these years later because it's still possible to find games on PC. It's free on PS Plus and it's still one of the best shooters out there. So fans of Titanfall, let's keep this game alive. If you haven't already, join my Discord as we now have a Titanfall looking for group role so you can play the game with people who also still love this game. Also, check out Moki's Discord as well. He consistently hosts custom games for this game and is keeping this game alive and fun. We played a version of Gun Game. Not to use. Got you, oh, Moki. No. A John Wick themed game. Oh, oh nice shot. Protect me. Oh, There's a lot of people there. Whoa, <laughs> bro, I'm killing everything. Dead, Are you going yeah. mad? Everyone's oh, my here. God. oh my god! Oh my gosh! What? Oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> I'm so up. And just stupid shenanigans all on his Discord. Get on top of my Titan. And now jump off of my Titan. Whoa! I'm in the black! To even explore further into this. Ha, huh, how'd you even get in there? Oh, hello. You can sort of come down here and uh, hold crouch. If you hold crouch, you should just drop down Engaging here. Hostile Titan. Railgun at maximum power. Hello. This wow. Is the whoa, whoa, whoa. And if you, oh. if, if you jump down here, you die. So go ahead and join that as well. Titanfall 2 is still a great game, and Respawn did a great job with it. It had its problems, but overall, I think people need to give it a second try. Apex Legends was such a success because Respawn put their heart and soul into the game, and you can see all the influence that Titanfall 2 has had on that game. I'm just hoping that Titanfall 3 comes out one day, and it finally hits that perfect middle ground where competitive and casual people alike will love this game for its movement and its awesome gameplay. I've been playing a lot of video games lately because of the self-quarantine, and whenever I go outside, I put on a mask because I care about the health and safety of others. And if you also care about the health and safety of others, then consider buying one of my masks at crowdmade.com. Crowdmade has launched their Match a Mask campaign, where for every one mask that you buy from my store, they will donate a mask to first responders out there fighting the coronavirus. We have two designs for the masks, Fashion Makes No Sense and Rated N for Noobs. These will only be out for a limited time, so if you're interested, go ahead and click the links down below to purchase a mask. Once again, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you later.
Sounds like a good idea for his chest. There's like Octane, but for shields. I mean, the side of You just let me get away, why?